What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Griffin series here on The Herd. And we are back up here at the farm trying to make some clothes for the good people of Griffin, Indiana. But before we get started on all of that, we have got to do a little chore work over here. And it starts by feeding the sheep. Got to give them some grass, make sure they're all happy. I think we might even need to get a little bit more water for them. So we'll check that in a second. But we have to make sure that these guys are really happy. And as I suspected, we do need to get more water. And you know, this lake has come a long way in my mind. I mean, I do remember when I didn't like it at all. I just thought, how many bales are we missing? How much crops could we be, you know, harvesting in this area? I mean, it's the size of a field anyway, but Either way, we're happy that this is here. It makes the uh, surroundings look nicer and we get free water for the sheep, which really the sheep, they don't really cost anything to have here, which is great because it's the number one resource that we have. Well, their wool. And when we're talking about efficiency, this isn't it. I don't know what's going on with these pallets, but I decided that I would take them over anyway before it even got crazier. But we are going to take this over uh, to the spinnery. We are going to get this unloaded and everything's gonna be fine in the world today because we are making money. Now the sheep are taken care of and the wool is where it needs to be. And now we can start with our day and what we're really here for. And that is to pick up all of these silage bales. We got to get all these silage bales down to the livestock yard. They said they could use more. I don't know how they keep using all of them that quick. I'm not here to ask questions. I'm just here to sell bales because we have to get $1 million just to break even on this farm. And they keep telling me that these clothes are gonna be done soon. I keep waiting very impatiently, but this will at least help knock the anxiety out of me a little bit because we're gonna make a couple hundred thousand, I hope, today. Now we are running right on time. It's quarter to eight. We've got the last bell down and I'm hoping to get down there by eight o'clock. That is when they open up and then we'll be able to sell all of this bells. I'm, I'm hoping about 20 to 25,000 for these bells of silage. That's usually what we get. And we're gonna need again, all of them because we've got a lot of work to do to get out of the red. Now down here at the livestock barn, and this is the moment of truth. This is going to tell us if we're gonna have a good day or if we're going to have an okay day because it's really hard to have a bad day when you're making money, right? Let's back this up to the barn and we will see how much we get. Now, nearly $25,000 was taken in on the first load. So that's really good because that whole field on the left has got to be mowed and bailed as well. We will make money there as well. And we've got this whole field up here that we still have to pick up. So we're going to have a really good day today. I am projecting, I don't know, I'm hoping it's 300000 but it's probably going to be closer to two because we don't have that kind of luck. Now over here on the house side and we are approaching noon and we've got $150,000 and we have still got the other side of the road to do. So, and that is obviously much bigger than this field. So we are having a good day and I'm hoping that our bank account, I don't know, reads 300,000 by the end of the day. Is that too greedy? Now, fast forward to the end of the day, and the answer here is yes, that was too greedy. But we are at $240,000 in the bank account, and that is never anything to sneeze at. I'm not going to have a bad day because of that, and neither should you. But either way, we are going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I am going to do more of this off camera, and I'll catch you guys next time.